Hey, it's Justin Turpin here with Coffee and Carpentry. In this video, we're going to take a look at DeWalt's DW734 Benchtop Planer. I'll unbox it, show you a few key elements, and after that, we'll put it to the test. My son likes his new toy. He thinks it's very useful. Good job. Excuse me, I didn't have my video on. While I did while you're gone was I removed this dust collection and the dust collector attachment. The I attach the handle that moves your gauge, your depth material gauge up and down. This gauge right here actually shows how much material is coming off as you're going as the wood's going through. These are your extension tables. It's your outfeed table on the other side. It goes through, comes out the other side. This is your turret stop. This prevents the carriage going any lower than what depth you have to sit on. Zero, three quarter, half inch, quarter inch, goes back to zero. As I was saying before, it comes with an 18 amp breaker and this is the reset button right here. It says to wait two minutes if it trips and then hit it. Of course the instructions give you more detail. After you adjust this and get it to the right height, Say you wanted it at four and a half inches, which would be right there. You press this, and it locks it in place. When you get ready to move it again, lift it up. You're now able to adjust it. It comes with an eight millimeter and ten millimeter wrench and Torx bit. When hooking up your dust hood, you want this tab right here to go on top just like that. Both sides hook right in. It sits down in there just like that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to go test this out. I'll be making some edge green cutting boards out of this walnut and African mahogany soon. So I'm cutting these to size and we'll run these through the planer to test it out. I could run the pieces through the planer as they are now, but I'm cutting the milled edges off of the sides to give me a flat surface to start with. From there I cut strips at an inch and three eighths wide. The final thickness of the cutting boards will be an inch and a quarter, so I cut them a little wider to account for the material that will be taken off when I run them through the planer. apologize for not getting the top of the planer in the picture, but as I'm running these strips through, I'm turning the handle a quarter turn to half a turn after each pass until I get to my desired thickness. That ensures that I don't take too much off at one time and also helps not bog down the motor. I'm sure most of you know how a planer works by this point, so I won't bore you with the details. I'll go ahead and speed through the rest of the planing process. Here's some of the pieces that I planed. As you can see right there, Missed a, it missed a little bit, so I'll have to run that one back through. But overall, I'm extremely satisfied with it. 
If your budget is tight, this planter definitely won't break the bank for the quality that you get. One disadvantage that I did notice was that when you go to fold the extension tables back up, the dust hood has to be removed. As you can see, it hits it. So for that reason, I chose not to screw it in place. That way it's easily removable since I'll be storing it away after each use. The tabs that snap in are plenty durable for my liking. I plan on mounting it on a small cart, that way I can roll it out of the way whenever I'm not using it. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel. Next time I'll show you the process of making a unique cutting board from start to finish using these pieces that were just cut and planed. I'll see you soon.